In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, a new column type within Power Apps called as Formula Column. Now, Formula Column existed uh, well before the time when Power Apps was created. Uh, it was called as Calculated Column and then the Calculated Column got refined and then finally it came into uh, known as Formula Column. Okay, so how to go about that? You need to go into make.powerapps.com, go into the back end, correct, select the correct, correct environment, and go to the correct table. So I have a table built over here called as hospital management system. Uh, and then over here, I can go ahead and create a new column. So I can go into columns and then click on create a new column, or maybe I can click here directly. Okay, so I click on new column. Now, once you call, click on create new column, then you will be presented with an interface to display name, description, data type, so on and so forth. Now, from here, I will select the data type as formula. Okay, so that's the last one over here. So if I click on formula, then it asks me to type a formula. Okay, now, if you see over here, there are a couple of things over here. There is an arrow button over here, up and down arrow. If I click on it, there is an option to type a formula or get formula suggestions, okay? So get formula suggestions, I'm going to cover it in a separate video. For time being, we will just type our own formula, okay? Now, this is where you type in the formula for a specific field, okay? Now, uh, let's talk about some uh, use cases, okay? So, um, so let me cancel it out, okay? Now, the use case for me is currently, so let's assume this is a list of hospitals which is present in the United States. Uh, and hospital has a capacity of the beds, okay? Now, uh, my use case is like, I want a column which shows me uh, an action which says uh, whether the hospital has a sufficient capacity of the beds or it needs a revamp, okay? So the condition is like, if the hospital has greater than 200 beds, then there is no need of revamp, okay? Now, if you see from the data, one, two, three, four, four hospitals need revamp in, as per my logic, okay? So what we are gonna do is like, we're gonna create a column called as action required, okay? And here I will select the data type as formula. And here I will start writing formula. Now the formula is basically very simple. It says if, if it's a function, capacity the column name is capacity so if capacity is greater than 200 then i would say uh what so in double quotes because this is a string data type which i'm creating the column name as action required uh, i'll say um, it has the hospital has sufficient capacity okay so that's the thing we want and if it is not if this condition is not satisfied then i would say uh, hospital needs revamp. Okay. So this is a very simple formula. So if you read this formula correctly, it says if the capacity, capacity column is greater than 200, then in that column, put the value as sufficient capacity or if not, then put need revamp. Okay, so this is a very simple formula. I'll just click on save and watch what happens. Okay, it will create a new column and the new column is uh, a calculated column okay it's a formula column and then it automatically fills in this value it says oh this hospital needs revamp this hospital needs revamp and so on and so forth now here capacity 200 so we said capacity greater than 200 and that's why it says needs revamp so what if i make this capacity as 250 okay and i change the value okay so now for 250 it is still showing me revamp need revamp okay but what you need to do, you need to refresh, okay? So if I again go back to the same URL, I just do a quick refresh. Then the calculated column or the formula column uh, should recalculate uh, the logic and then it should display uh, the action accordingly. So for the item which has 200 as a capacity or 250 as a capacity it says it has sufficient capacity now so don't worry if it doesn't refresh in the screen you just need to do a quick refresh and then the calculated column will automatically calculate it okay now uh, again uh, from a logic perspective we can create an another column i'll call this as uh, say say maybe i need to call it as city okay so if i want to calculate or uh, uh, generate the name of the uh, state okay so let me call this as state okay so we already have location so we have this something called a city uh, and then here i'll go ahead and create a data type called as formula okay now instead of 
uh, if what I'm going to do is like switch. Okay, so what I'm this, the use case is basically if it, it belongs to New York City, then uh, the state is New York. If it is for San Francisco, then it is California, and if it's Philadelphia, then it's Pennsylvania. Okay, so we are just calculating the state. We are hard coding the state value. So what I'm going to do is switch. Okay, and which column? So the column name is location. Okay, so let me put this as location column. So this is the uh, switching parameter, and here I will just say New York City. If it is New York City, then the state is, say, New York. And if it is San Francisco, then it is California. And if it is, if the location is Philadelphia, then the state is Pennsylvania. And I'll close this. Okay, so how do we read the switch statement? Is the switch switching should happen based on the location field? And if it is New York, then New York City, then the state is New York. If it is San Francisco, then the state is California. And this Philadelphia, then the state is Pennsylvania. All good, done. Click on save, and then it should automatically run that switch case against the record, uh, and it should display the correct state. Okay, so this is uh, how you basically. Uh, calculate uh, the uh, use the formula column uh, using various functions. So I gave you an example of using if and switch, but you can use more than that. Okay, uh, so that's it for this. Is how you basically use a, a formula column within Power Apps. Thanks for watching.